Welcome to ZoolCAD software. Let's do a quick demo. Double click the ZoolCAD icon to start the software. In the drawing manager box, select the standard to use for the particular drawing. We'll use the Twin Lakes project. Click on new, enter the file name, and then double click the file name to open the ZoolCAD drawing session. On the left, you'll see ZoolCAD's toolbox. And on the lower left corner, you will see the SpoolCAD active settings. Let's start by entering a border. Pick the appropriate size border from the given list, and then enter the border attributes. These attributes could be updated at any time during the drawing session. Let's zoom up where the spool will be created. Let's look at the active settings, things like the spec, the main size, branch size, and line number, and adjust accordingly. Next, we'll look at the auto route feature, which greatly enhances the drafting. Saves a lot of time. We will enable this. Now we'll place a flange, face a flange, pick a point on the screen, and give a direction. Now we'll add some piping and some fittings. So let's add a 90 degree elbow a piece of pipe. Relatively easy to do. We'll add a few more components. We'll look at a reducing T to show that the branch and the main size is shown and can be changed before inserting. The red and blue arrow allow you to choose a different direction. We'll stick with the default. Gain with a reducer allows you to change the values as you place it. We'll add a flange to finish off this part of the spool. And let's look at adding to that branch run. Disable the auto route. Let's change the size to 4 inch to show you some of the error checking that SpoolCAD will do. We will try to place a flange on that 3 inch connection. First, the isoplane shows up, pick the appropriate isoplane, and then you'll see the mismatch of 4 inch to a 3 inch. Click match to have it set to a 3 inch. Now our spool is complete, we'll add some dimensions. Pick the dimensioning tool, set the appropriate isoplane for drawing the dimension. Always use AutoCAD's object snaps to ensure accurate dimensioning. When a length of unknown pipe is encountered, just enter the overall dimension and SpoolCAD will calculate the cut length. Continue with the dimension. Again, an unknown length of pipe, enter the overall dimension and the cut length is calculated. And we'll finish off the dimensions. Now we're ready to generate a bill of material. Select the tool, select the generate bill of material, proceed through the dialog boxes. We will insert in the upper right corner. Adding item balloons to finish off. The completed ISO is shown. Let's zoom up on the bill of material to take a closer look. All the data that is shown comes from our spec. If you require heat numbers, we can add those in. That's under our fabrication tools and select the heat number. Enter appropriate values for each of the heat numbers for each of the components. These can be updated at any time. We'll zoom up again just to take a quick look. Next, we'll add the weld list. Similar to the bill of material, when we insert this into the drawing, we can update the welder and weld information before placing it into the drawing. It will also allow you to add weld tags, similar to the building material, close to the weld dots.
Let's zoom up on the weld list to take a closer look. Next, we'll add the weld count chart and insert it into the drawing. Zoom up on that to see what shows up. We'll zoom up on the border and take a closer look at some of the information shown there. The two pieces we're looking at are the diameter inch and the weight calculation. Select the diameter inch from the tools and it will update the diameter inch value. Calculated weights, it also gets updated automatically in the border. And the last thing we need to do after completing the ISO is to save it. It's that easy.